Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, October 13th, 2021 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. And of course, it's Patch Tuesday, and with that, you got fixes for, well, 74, 81 vulnerabilities, depending on how you count. Three of them are critical, three were previously disclosed, and one has already been exploited. And that's probably the big one here. It's CVE 2021-4449. It's an elevation of privileges uh, vulnerability, and it's affecting Win32K. We usually get like one or two elevation of privilege vulnerabilities in Win32K uh, each month, but this one has already been exploited by a Chinese-speaking advanced persistent threat actor, typically uh, labeled as Iron Husky. Uh, the particular malware that used it was uh, labeled a Mystery Snail, and it's a remote access tool. Aside from taking advantage of that vulnerability, Mystery Snail is sort of your standard uh, remote access tool. It exfiltrates data, allows remote execution of uh, commands, and of course, because it takes advantage of this privilege escalation, it can do all of that as a system. Now, out of the three critical vulnerabilities, there are two in Hyper-V, and uh, then we have a third one that affects a word and could be leveraged for a code execution. So this would then be sort of the one-two punch where an attacker would use the word vulnerability in order to execute code, and then the purge escalation vulnerability in order to gain system access. We also have yet another uh, print spooler spoofing vulnerability that's being addressed in this update. Not sure if that's related to the print nightmare vulnerabilities, but there were still some sort of outstanding issues around that. So possibly that's being addressed here. There is also a remote code execution vulnerability in Microsoft Exchange Server. Now, before your alarm bells go off here, and it does have a CVSS score of nine, one uh, thing that mitigates this particular problem is that in order to exploit it, an attacker needs to be adjacent uh, to the server. So this could not uh, be exploited across uh, the internet. As far as patch priorities go, well, uh, certainly uh, CVE 2021-4049, the one that's already being exploited, ranks highest here. If you're running Hyper-V, the two critical vulnerabilities related to Hyper-V should be expedited. And uh, then I would also not uh, neglect that uh, sprint spooler spoofing vulnerability, just because uh, that has gotten a lot of attention lately. The exchange vulnerability, like I said, not as critical as it necessarily sounds because it does require that adjacent network access. And yes, of course, we are still getting patches from Adobe. Uh, this time we got patches for six different uh, products, uh, Adobe Campaign Standard, Adobe Commerce, Ops CLI, Adobe Reader Mobile, Adobe Connect, and of course, and that's uh, probably the most important here, Adobe Acrobat and Reader. Adobe Acrobat and Reader fixes uh, four uh, different uh, vulnerabilities, two of which are rated as critical. So yeah, certainly, apply uh, these patches. Given that uh, Adobe Acrobat uh, usually gets quite a bit of attention in particular from more sophisticated adversaries. Adobe Commerce, also known as Magento, of course, also a hacker favorite, uh, but in this case, it only fixes an important vulnerability and that's a cross-site request forgery issue. And we've got yet another malicious Python module. PyPy uh, did uh, remove MITM proxy 2, so machine in the middle proxy 2. This module apparently is trying to impersonate a machine in the middle proxy module, so same name without the 2, but it also included uh, intentional remote code execution vulnerability. So essentially it planned a pretty tricky backdoor and the author of the original module uh, came across it by accident uh, while sort of chasing down some other uh, bug that was uh, reported uh, to him also within hours of uh, the malicious module being uh, removed uh, there was 
yet another malicious module uh, machine in the middle proxy dash iframe uh, that was uh, published of course that also has been removed but be aware in particular with, pop with popular modules like this there is a tendency that attackers will try to trick you into installing some similar sounding modules and for example, adding the number two may just make you believe that this is a newer version of this module. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening. And remember, there will be no podcast tomorrow. So no podcast for Thursday, Friday. I'll probably get one together on Friday, but not 100% sure on that. So maybe it will be Monday for the next podcast. Thanks and talk to you again. Well, maybe Friday, maybe Monday. Bye.